Good evening. Welcome parents, families, and friends to our 2017-18 fifth grade, fifth grade graduation. The stat at the Scott Elementary would like to thank you for trusting us with your students this year. Scott is a better place because each of them have walked through our doors. As a reminder, at Scott Elementary, we use three claps when students get rewards, so everyone's name can be heard and recognized. Please also take a moment to silence your cell phones so our students have a full opportunity to perform and be recognized. Thank you all for attending, and without further ado, I would like to introduce Isabel Bailey, our fifth grade leadership essay winner. Trust is the glue of life. It's the most essential ingredient in effective communication. It's the foundation principle that holds all relationships. This is a quote from Stephen Covey, the creator of The Seven Habits. The Seven Habits are basically a list of things to do to become a leader, and I had this friend who followed The Seven Habits, and she became an amazing, amazing leader, so I suggest you do too. If you do decide to follow The Seven Habits, you can become a great leader too. The first habit that really helped me is put first things first, habit number three. It really helped me do my homework or work before I play. Putting first things first means to work before you play so I can get my work done and I don't have to worry about it. Putting first things first is good for you, but sometimes you need to work together. The second habit that really helped me work with people is habit number six, synergize. This, is, this habit helped me work with other people and figure things out. And this is my favorite habit too. Synergizing is good for you, but you should try um, putting first things first and synergizing at the exact same time. Today I have talked to you about the seven habits and how they can help you become a great leader and a good friend. The seven habits have helped me become the leader I am by showing me it's okay for other people to win, to not be selfish, and to be kind to one another. Something I hope you learned is that you can do anything you dream of and do what ever you want to accomplish. I hope you enjoyed my story and thank you for letting me read it to you. Thank you so much, Isabel, that was amazing. Please join me in welcoming Miss Jones as our special guest speaker. Miss Jones teaches third grade at Scott Elementary but taught this class for first year teaching as second graders. Congratulations, fifth grade graduates. For those of you who don't know, I am Miss Jones, and I have been asked by a lot of people if I can get through this without crying, so I'm gonna do my best. Um, first of all, I am so incredibly proud of all of you. Um, when Mrs. Baker asked me if I would speak tonight, I thought, oh my goodness, where do I begin? Um, you guys were my first class as a teacher, and I'm sure that you taught me more that year than I probably taught you. So I'm sorry, Mr. McDougal. Um, I learned a couple things. I learned first that no matter how prepared you are, the day never really goes as planned. Um, I learned that second graders probably need to clean out their desks more than just once a semester. Um, I learned that 8 o'clock is a perfectly acceptable bedtime for teachers. And I learned that no real learning occurs in my classroom unless if I build genuine relationships. So when I was thinking about advice I wish I got going into middle school, I wish that someone told me how important good relationships were. You get the opportunity to build relationships with new teachers, with new peers, and with friends that will impact you for the better or the worse. So choose those wisely. You will get to be surrounded by new people and you guys ultimately get to decide who you're going to be. So I challenge you to choose to surround yourself with relationships that will encourage you, relationships that will care about you, and relationships that will make you a better person. Make choices that you are proud of and that your future self will someday thank you for. 
As a class, you guys have had the most incredible hearts that want to do the right thing, and I really hope that you never lose that. There is a quote that says, go into the world and do well, but more importantly, go into the world and do good. So yes, I do. I hope you are all incredibly successful in all that you do in life. But really, I want to see all of you do good things and become good people. So, I wish you all the best in middle school and beyond. Please come back and tell me all the amazing things you have accomplished. And know that no matter what, I will always be on your team. Congratulations, guys. Thank you so much, Ms. Jones. Please join me in welcoming Ms. Townsend and the fifth grade choir. Thank you. 
present Ms. Eshelman's graduating class. Zuleika Acosta Hernandez. Alexander <laughs> Archuleta. <laughs> Isabel Bailey. <laughs> Alan Bacui Vicente. <laughs> Pete Davila. Serenity Elliott. Montserrat Flores Martinez. Amory Galvin. Isaiah Gamez. Isaac Jaquez Garcia. Christopher Maddox. <laughs> Anthony Mendiola. <laughs> Haliza Benti Mohammed Saru. Jaren Molina. <laughs> Julissa Achoa. <laughs> Zavin. Antiveros. <laughs> Natasia Pasina. <laughs> Jaden Pettyjohn. <laughs> Isabella Ramos Emerson. <laughs> Julissa Ramos Rodriguez. <laughs> Adriel Rios. Jasmine Rodriguez. Maddox Rodriguez. Aiden Romero. Nico Sanchez. Joshua Sarama. Edison Vicente Vicente. It is with great joy and honor that I congratulate Ms. Eshelman's high school graduating class of 2025. Pleasure that I introduce and congratulate Ms. Magnanis' class. Jonathan Baca. Alejandro Bayes Perez. Anija Brown. Gavin Serta.
Samuel Diaz Ortiz. Bridger Freeland. Kimberly Garman. Layla Gomez. Benice Gormley. Saeed Hassan. Zacharia Hassan. Alina Hernandez. Nicole Loma. Adelpha Lopez Vicente. Eric Lurby. Josue Monreal. Hannah Newman. Edwin Pinon de la Pena. Aliyah Rodriguez. Alonzo Rodriguez. Fidel Sanchez Jaime. Sharice Sandoval. Brenna Snell. Marcellus Spearstad. Timothy Steele. Alex Takem Hacento. Zayden Trevizo Mondragon. Brian Vicente Chanchale. Betseda Vicente Pelico. It is with great joy and honor that I present to you Ms. Magianis' high school graduating class of 2025. I would like to congratulate Ms. Pendleberry's class. McKaylee Beck. Kimberly Bracamontes Cortez. Sahara Charpentier Bean. Jesus Estrada Meza. Joshua Fabella. Dominic Gallic. <laughs> Leslie Gomez Vasquez. <laughs> Diego Gonzalez. <laughs> Angel Hernandez. Sherlyn Hernandez. Michael Hernandez Ingram. Lucinia Herrera Pacheco.
Dorotea Huerta. Nevea Mora. Richard Lemon. Alexander Lopez Alarcon. Laura Lopez Vicente. Isaiah Mann. Brianna Mendoza. Jonathan Meza. Dominic Moreno, Jr. Oscar Oveda. Christian Rodriguez. Jaden Serna. Skyler Sirio. Alexis Trantham. Isabella Vandergriff. Daisy Vicente. And Tegan Yabara. It is with great joy and honor that I congratulate Ms. Pendleberry's high school graduating class of 2025. Is there any doubt that this crowd loves you? I mean, hey, hey, Seuss, where are you at? You have a head on a stick over there. <laughs> that is amazing. So what I would like you guys to be able to do right now is this wonderful group of people out here have supported you all the way through elementary. Can you give them a nice round of applause right now? Thank you all for being here this evening. I got thrown off a little bit by the giant Jesus head, I'm sorry. I love it. Um, thank you all for being here this evening to recognize our fifth grade class of 2017 and 18. We are all honored that you have joined us tonight to celebrate because without your help and support, these amazing kids would not be up here on the stage. At this time, I'd like to take a few moments to thank a few individuals who helped us make this night possible. Thank you to our music teacher, Mrs. Townsend, for her hard work with our fifth grade students and their performance tonight. I would like to thank our fifth grade teachers, Ms. Eshelman, Ms. Magianas, and Ms. Pendleberry for being here tonight. And I made a joke earlier in the kinder presentation about herding cats, but I think the same thing applies here in fifth grade. If you've ever been in a fifth grade classroom, this is a great group of fifth grade kids, but sometimes it's like herding cats too. So we want to thank them for all of their work this year. We really appreciate what they've done.
I would also like to thank Ms. Rotuno, Ms. Thomas, and Ms. Robles for their help putting together certificates that the students received tonight and organizing the refreshments and the balloons that you see around this afternoon. Thank you. I'd like to also thank Ms. Mrs. Burgess and Mrs. Martin for helping on stage tonight as they gave out um, journals. And Ms. Jones for stepping up and having a wonderful speech for your students. And the list could go on and on, and I would inevitably miss someone. So a heartfelt thank you to all of our teachers and staff who are here tonight to support our students. It truly takes a village to raise children, and we are lucky to have the very best to do that. And last but not least, we'd like to thank Ms. Baker for all of her hard work in coordinating this event and emceeing this wonderful, wonderful evening. Ms. Baker, thank you. Okay, this is where I get to talk to you guys for the last time. You ready? Before we leave tonight, I wanted to say a few words to you guys. I'm so very proud of you. Looking at you sitting here makes me smile. Miss Baker and I were talking this morning and we couldn't stop bragging about how fortunate we were to have such an amazing group of fifth graders this year. You guys are truly young men and young women. You set such a great example for all the younger students in our school. You were leaders, you were mentors, you were friends to so many at Scott and I know they will remember you, as I will, as kind, generous, and compassionate students. On behalf of your parents and all of us at Scott Elementary, I want to tell you how very proud we are of you. We wish you the very best in the next stage of your journey. We hope above all that it is filled with joy, with wonder, and with fun. Congratulations, Scott Stars, class of 2017 and 18. Would you please join me in giving them a